Beautiful Scorpios, welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q and I'm here to do a general reading for the beloved collective. I will you all are blissed, happy, well. I will that you all did take uh, it upon yourselves to do that 222 Archangel Mikael ritual on Tuesday uh, because that is a powerful, powerful, um, not only was that a powerful um celestial energy because I believe there was a trine happening at the same time uh, in Scorpio, Cancers, and Pisces, which are all water elements. Um, but that number also reduced to 12, which is three, um, which is the number of manifestation and birthing new things, new ideas, um, setting intention. So I do will that you all uh, really utilize that energy, um, really build um, a, and cultivate a connection and re relationship with Archangel Mikael, uh, and will continue to do so on um, the next eight weeks. Um, I'm going to do, I'm starting it again this Tuesday. That was, uh, ironically, uh, 222 was the last day of my nine week um, Archangel Mikael uh, prayer. Uh, and I said, I'm going to do it for another, <laughs> another nine weeks uh, because that's 18, that's still nine. So I wanted to, uh, you know, continue doing it because I truly feel like um, I just love the the connection the bond um and just you know being able to work with that energy um every week because i do feel like it just strengthens my relationship with that beautiful beautiful baba so um i will you all did that i hope all is blissed in your world that you are happy healthy strong um I am going to do a general reading for anyone that may be new. So my spiel, if you are new, is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, just let it fly by. Know that you're more than just your sun sign. So check your moon, your rising, your Venus, your Mercury, your Mars. Just check your other placements for a more clear and concise message for you. Um, this is also a timeless reading. Um, so whenever you find yourselves clicking on the video, that is the perfect timing, which is divine timing for you all to do so. Um, for anyone, again, that may be new, my name is Q. I too am a Scorpio. I channel messages intuitively. I am an empath and I am also clairaudient. So I do incorporate music into my readings and they tend to blend very beautifully uh, with the messages that come out in, with the tarot cards. So you'll see this beautiful blend. You'll see things kind of like just kind of marry one another. Very beautiful how it happens, how it works. Um, right now we have Nas. It ain't hard to tell. Um, so I do feel like with you all, it's not hard to tell, um, when someone is into you or if you're going to be into something because you, I'm just getting a sense that you need to trust your intuition, that inner gumption, um, and just go with that feeling. Um, if something doesn't sit right in your, your spirit, just be off that immediately. Uh, but it won't be hard to tell. So I just get a sense of like trusting your intuition, trusting how you feel in that moment. And uh, you'll be able to make a decision um, based off of that. Because your feelings, I feel, are very heightened at this time. You're very sensitive. Um, I just feel a strong, intense uh, psychic or oracle energy. So you could be like in that high priestess, high priest vibes uh, where you're just very sensitive. So you are really powerful right now at just picking up on energy. So um, we're going to go ahead, get a couple of shuffles in, uh, see what's coming and going out, going on. Um, before we delve any deeper, I would like to call upon the elements of water, fire, Earth, air, ether, and spirit, Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, Baba Ogun, to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards, help me to pick up on the energy, Number synchronicity vibrations of my cards, and so it is. So more to be ashe, ashe, ashe. So let's see what's coming and going out, going on with my beloved Scorpios. Welcome to anyone that may be new. I hope you stay a while. And if you are returning, beloved, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. My love is your love. I just heard that in my mind's eye. Whitney Houston. 
So maybe some of you all, My Love Is Your Love, is that one of your favorite songs? Maybe someone hails from Jersey, Newark, New Jersey, like Whitney Houston. Maybe someone um, just loves them some Whitney. Maybe you just heard that song recently. That's what I was picking up. My love is your love. How did that go? So bottom of the deck, we got follow your dreams. So I do feel like, you know, it's not hard to tell playing with Nas and then follow your dreams. So maybe there's some sort of uh, calling, pull. You're feeling some intense calling, nudging at your spirit to go towards some sort of destined path. Um, with follow your dreams, I definitely feel like maybe you all uh, have been honing some sort of skills or gifts or talents um, and you're just feeling pulled in a particular direction. Maybe you feel like it's your life path, um, something that will fulfill you, make you feel joy, uh, satisfied, elated, something that will also bring some sort of emotional and financial fulfillment. Uh, this 85 reduces to 13. So this is your energy. I feel like there's been some sort of major change, transformation, sudden upheaval, a tower moment. Uh, maybe you've just released uh, some sort of X or karmic lesson has been learned. Uh, and now you're in this new chapter, this new junction where you have a sense of, you know, stability, security, self-sufficiency, maybe even independence. Uh, that 13 is like the death of you, but the emergence of a new version of you. Um, I feel like you've been really focusing on healing yourselves, on reestablishing, reinventing, regenerating, um, you know, just your own purpose, you know, bringing forth some sort of happiness. And you may be receiving a lot of downloads, um, a lot of divine interventions at this time that it, it's time for you to live for you, to not allow others to live vicariously through you, but for you to live your own purpose. Uh, we have Gregory Hines. Uh, or I'm sorry, Gregory Isaacs, and this is called Soon Forward. So I do feel like your, you know, whatever your dreams are, it's going to lead you forward. You're going to be moving upward and onward. Um, so I'm feeling like there's success or there's some sort of, of um, you know, positive outcome. Uh, the name of this album is called One Man Against the World. So maybe that's literally how you felt is like, you know, you, you were fighting against, uh, enemies, frenemies, family, colleagues, um, but you've just completed that. This caused a major painful ending. Um, you felt betrayed, deceived, backstabbed, uh, but you are now, you know, moving to the beat of your drum, uh, doing things your way. Um, so you're not, uh, you're, you're being you unapologetically now. And I feel like it's because now you feel more sturdy, more stable, more um, secure, because as I said, you are more independent now. You're not codependent in a, a connection. Uh, we have compassion here. So I feel like you've trusted your intuition um, by not judging your, your, your path, your journey, or judging those who were brought into your life to teach you some sort of lessons. But you've focused on the love and the light. You focused on honing some of those skills, gifts, and talents that you may have discovered you had, or maybe you started to master them or you started to um you know just co-create with source and with soon forward i feel like this is going to really propel you forward or there's going to be some sort of um sudden change uh positive change because the nine nine uh reduces to 18 that's nine again so there's like some sort of positive change or on the precipice of something beautiful and you could feel it because this is all purple which deals with the crown chakra so i do feel like you have a very strong sensitivity uh to energy um to communication uh intuitively telepathically maybe you're having some very lucid dreams vivid dreams um, maybe you all are scryers, so you could be seeing some sort of symbolisms or imagery in the clouds or in smoke or in fire, in water, in the earth. Maybe you're just receiving a lot of divine downloads at this time, very sensitive. And it's just letting you know that you're on the precipice of change, that you're moving forward. Uh, things are, you know, really going to improve and um, open up for you. Like there's some sort of wish fulfillment, perhaps. So I see moderation. So nine, uh, this is 14, excuse me. So that's also a number of change, but I also feel like you've made a lot of emotional changes. I feel like someone's coming in. Um, they're going to move forward towards you. Um, they're moving in towards you, I should say. And this is someone that has truly been um, 
really healing their inner child. Maybe someone is now um, prepared to come towards you uh, because we did have um, that Nas song, It Ain't Hard to Tell. So maybe you're going to tell that someone is really into you uh, because they're going to really be, you know, active. You know, maybe they're going to come in and just confess it or profess it or, you know, be honest and transparent. Um, this is someone that could see uh, this connection as something that can grow. Um, that can grow, that can sustain uh, the test of time. Um, and I feel like maybe if you've been waiting for this, for this connection that you can literally, um, you know, you could feel that there's something transpiring, something is changing. This is a spiritual partnership. That's why you're able to feel it. You're able to feel it because this is um, a divine counterpart. This is someone that the divine is aligning you with. This is someone that you have a very strong soul connection, soul tied to, and this person is coming forward. They're moving forward towards you. And this is someone that may be at a distance because we do have um, the world reference in the title, uh, um, the name of the album. So this could be someone that literally could be at a distance. But with this 27, this person sees you as like um, someone that could be wish fulfillment. Um, this is someone that sees your growth, sees how much you've evolved. They can invest in you. They see your worth, your value. Uh, they see you as someone very grounded, balanced, in alignment, uh, and spiritually so as well. Uh, but this person can also see themselves planting seeds and roots because they see you as someone very regal, very royal, someone that knows their worth as well, someone that has self-love. Uh, that nine is giving me like nine of cups energy. So after you walk away with the eight of cups from a connection that kept you on an emotional roller coaster ride where you felt like you was investing into something that was not feeding and nurturing you, um, you walk away as a show and sign of self-love. So someone is attracted to you. Um, for having a sense of self-love. It's making you more attractive, more beautiful. Um, it's as if you are glowing and growing and they just see that they could build an alliance with you, um, that they could achieve great things with you, uh, grow a family, have that happy house, happy spouse, uh, that they could plant seeds and roots, so build a nucleus as well. So see this nature. So things are going to happen very organically, very natural, um, naturally as well um, with this 47 or 74, excuse me. Some of you could have been born in 74. Um, this is someone who's also sees you as a twin flame because that's the 11 vibration. So the yang to their yin, yin to their yang. This is someone that also feels you ground them. So how they're feeling is truly like you ground them, uh, that they could have um, a very strong connection. They feel like you are um, a natural healer, n very nurturing, uh, very empathic, very compassionate, uh, very caring. Um, we got uh, Lauren Hill, I Used to Love Him, featuring Mary J. Blige. Um, and so maybe someone was, you know, going through uh, some sort of connection and maybe, maybe someone felt like you still had some sort of a, a tie to someone from your past. Maybe they felt like, you know, insecure. I heard the word insecurity. But there is a strong spiritual partnership connection that you truly have with someone. And maybe you've been fighting it. Maybe you've been trying to convince yourself that you used to love someone. But the divine is saying that this is absolutely like a twin flame, a soulmate. And this is a destined connection because a spiritual partnership is something um, that you have with someone that the divine is aligning you with. Um, this is spiritual because maybe you have grown spiritually and this person has also been going through things that have helped them to evolve. But I do feel like there's a lot of devotion. There's a lot of uh, spiritual uh, communication and chemistry and connectivity. So what is hidden in the energy for our beloved Scorpios, divine spirit? Maybe denial is a part of the um, thing here as well. So we have perseverance. And this is uh, the number four. There's all green. There's three green cards back to back. So this really is just showing me how much healing was necessary. And we got green in the center of one symbol, blue or purple in the center of another, and then red. So there was a lot of soul work that was required, healing inner child wounds, traumas, pains, hurts, um, you know, cutting baggage, getting rid of of the baggage, uh, but someone sees just how psychic you are, intuitive, and I feel like you have also, um, you know, really 
uh, persevered through some difficulties and maybe that's what triggered and activated someone to start making their changes because they do see you as wish fulfillment. But I also feel because of the changes you've made and because you've trusted your own intuition, because you received those divine downloads and interventions, now you are going to receive some sort of uh, emotional blessing, wish fulfillment. Uh, because you've persevered through some difficult times. I feel there's emotional satisfaction and joy. Um, and you just have to surrender uh, because the divine is literally bringing someone in that is going to match or fly and speak your love language. So when you surrender, that's you giving up, you know, the control of you either trying to control the narrative or control the circumstance and outcome. Just surrender to the divine. Allow the divine to do what the divine does because the divine notices how much you've worked how hard you've worked, how resilient you have been. And so the divine is wanting to bring someone into you, but you have to, you know, get out of your ego because um, I'm feeling like, uh, you know, very proud uh, with, I used to love him, now I don't. Maybe that's denial. Maybe that's trying to convince yourself you don't love someone. Uh, but the divine is saying surrender, release the control, uh, release trying to control the narrative and just to allow things to change. Um, with this 91, that is an ending. Um, so I am feeling like this could be someone that you've had some sort of toxic past with or a painful ending with. Uh, but I do feel like there's an opportunity uh, for things to be healed because I do see a lot of green here. Uh, but you can only heal something if there is, um, if both parties are coming to the table um, desiring the same outcome. So I do see here with surrender, the divine wants you to surrender. So that's about relinquishing control, okay? So what is the outcome for my beloved Scorpios? You got a lot of cards that flew out in the out outcome. So both of you um, had to learn to be independent of one another. So maybe, maybe the two of you were in a relationship and there was some sort of, something came in to cause conflict so that you all could separate and work on yourselves individually. And so now that you both have worked on yourselves individually, you both can come back into partnership as whole individuals and not broken individuals. Because as I said, with I used to love him, now I don't. I feel that was more denial uh, while you were in separation. But maybe because this is an all orange card, um, this is showing, uh, you know, the, the importance of you know, the, the divinity of the divine feminine and masculine is to create. And I feel like you had to create a new version of yourselves. You had to emerge someone new. You had to start over um, from the ground zero. Ground zero is the root chakra. So you had to heal from all of the toxicity, the trauma, the pain that may have lingered from your familial um, lineage, from past generational curses, from love ships, from your fight, your lack of feeling secure and stable. You had to heal that so that you could stand perpendicular in your square and very independently of another person. And now that you've done that, and now that your person has done that, because I feel both of you could have been codependent on one another. Now the two of you could come back into a uh, union with one another with more of a purpose. And look what I see first and foremost is I see self-discipline. That's what self-discipline is, focusing on the self. Self-discipline encompasses everything pertaining to self, self-love, self-care, self-worth, self-value, self-respect. So this is what you had to focus on. This was the necessary changes that needed to be made. Your person also had to change those same things. See how your card, uh, this is the outcome. It has orange on the outside and green. This is the energy of the person you're attracting. They have green on the outside. So it's like you both were a mirror. And this is 14, this is 41. So this is literally you and this person mirroring one another. This is a twin flame, a soulmate, a divine counterpart, a divine connection. But you had to first love yourselves. You had to not self-sabotage, overcompensate, and give to someone that was barely giving anything to you. You had to learn your own worth and your own va value. And so what we have right now is Ella Fitzgerald and Louis Armstrong, and this is called a foggy day. So whatever fogginess, whatever haze, whatever confusion, whatever rose-colored glasses you or your person you are attracting we're going through, it's like now there's a sense of clarity. Now there's a sense of truth. Um, this is also mental conflict. So you had to you know, stop lying to yourself because remember I said with that, I used to love him, now I don't. 
I do feel like that was almost like denial. Someone was denying so as to push down their feelings and their emotions. You can lie all you want, like I said, to me, to your friends, to your family, but you can never lie to the divine. The divine knows what's truly in your heart. And as I always say, if people weren't, you know, really concerned about their ex, uh, they wouldn't click on a video that is speaking about a past person or an ex or, you know, a video that leads you uh, in the direction of knowing that someone from your past is very intricate in that reading. So that is denial. So that's why I used to love him. Now I don't. It's here because I feel like a lot of you all may have been, you know, really in denial. And maybe that worked for a while because sometimes you got to fake it till you make it. But I feel like now there's this grand epiphany that, you know, because of the changes you've made and the changes that someone from your past has made, there's an opportunity for this union to come back into fruition um, because someone is now seeing the truth of how profound, how strong this connection is, and also seeing you as like some sort of wish fulfillment. And as I said, as you heal yourselves, when you are in a divine connection, divine counterpart um, is also going to mirror you as we could clearly see here with with these cards literally not only the colors are interchanging but you also have um, the numbers that are interchanging but I see self-love was required for Scorpios in order for them to make the changes whereas this person had to learn to love an, in a more healthy way so they had to learn to be more vulnerable because the green is now on the outside so this is allowing others to love you being um, available when it comes to love and green is like the main color that I'm seeing here and that deals with the heart chakra. So emotions, feelings um, have absolutely been invested in this connection that I am picking up for you all Scorpios. And so what I see here is manifestation. So the outcome is whatever you're manifesting and asking for, maybe during that, you know, that 22222 portal, you've manifested love. This is an all pink card. Again, this is a color of the heart chakra. So rose quartz could be very um, uh, a stone that you all could be working with. Uh, some of you all could be working with green aventurine. Um, but I do feel like a lot of you all have been manifesting new love because remember, we had the um, that song uh, by Nas. Um, uh, man, um, it ain't hard to tell. Thank you, spirit. And so it's like you're not, it's going to it's not going to be hard to tell that someone loves you because you're going to see changed behavior. This person automatically sees you as wish fulfillment. So this person knows that this time around, if they get a second time around second opportunity and both of these cards have pink in the middle. And pink, like I said, is the heart chakra. So this person knows this time around what to do, what not to do, just like you know uh, what boundaries to set. You know to have boundaries, not to let people just walk all over you, trample all over you, trample all over your heart, or abuse you or take your kindness for weakness. Now that you're in emotional equilibrium, now you're manifesting someone else that's also emotionally equilibrium. That's going to speak your love language. Your love language isn't just about affections, um, you know, being shown, but it's also about someone that could be communicative. Maybe communication is your love language. Maybe you need someone that's going to be uh, expressive or to, you know, open up with you in the way that will make you feel comfortable and safe in that relationship. And like you can open up. Um, maybe you need someone that's going to be a provider, someone that's going to literally, you know, come in and take care of the bills because maybe you were in a codependent relationship in the past and they just abused you. 2323, that could have caused um, a lot of the difficulty and a lot of the um, upheaval in a connection. Um, but I feel like this person that you're manifesting is absolutely undubitably going to speak your love language because those are the things that you have been manifesting is that you attract a like mind, someone that's going to literally exude some of the characteristics, uh, qualities um, that you find um, very important uh, in your, your life partner, in your uh, counterpart, in that uh, divine connection that you desire. Um, so you want someone attentive that's going to hug you in those moments where you feel um, vulnerable or going to kiss you or going to give you physical touch. That could be a love language as well. So these are things you're manifesting as someone coming in that's going to be emotionally vested. And I'm hearing emotionally intelligent as well. Um, and we have Boogie tonight playing um, by um, Tweet. So this person, um, you know, I feel, and this is from the Southern uh, Hummingbird. So there will be communication. Uh, when I hear tweet, 
Um, I feel like there will be, you know, maybe you'll get a like a little a, a tweeted message. Maybe somebody will retweet your message. Maybe you'll meet this person online on social media. Maybe they will DM you. Maybe you'll get a message via your um, phone, like a text message or something. So we have personal growth. So you've absolutely grown spiritually. Uh, this is the another the, uh, number seven. So that's your crown chakra. So as I said, very sensitive, psychically, intuitively, almost like oracle, high priest, high priestess energy, uh, very um, powerful sorcerer, channeler, someone that knows how to set intention, just like that alchemist or that magician that knows as above, so below, as within, so without. So as I said, during that 222 portal, you could have been utilizing um, that energy, that celestial energy to manifest fest and I feel like you all are growing even stronger um in your ability to manifest like you truly are uh very powerful um you know master manifestors at this time or just period and then we have spiritual partnership it came back out so you are manifesting um a spiritual partnership with someone that's also been growing someone that's also been evolving and changing someone who's also into spirituality um someone that could be a practitioner a shaman a healer a light worker um someone who could you know literally be a musician that sings music that's like really um very um um, um healing um maybe someone makes you know, uh, healing meditation sounds, works with binaural beats, chimes, singing bowls. Uh, maybe there's a sound therapist, uh, someone that could be even a Reiki healer. I just feel like this, this connection, this partnership um, is, is divinely ordained, like your ancestors and in, um, ancestors and angels are uh, bringing this person to you. So it's a, it's a sense that this person has been manifested, uh, but your angels and ancestors are aligning you with the person uh, very specific for you. Um, maybe this person that you were dealing with in the past has gone through a major spiritual transformation uh, through to um, due to your uh, spiritual transformation and you've activated and um, triggered them. So now whatever feelings that may have been, um, you know, put off in the past, this person is now going to come towards you. Uh, and they are uh, absolutely going to be very honest about, you know, whatever it is they're feeling or whatever it is um, they may have been hiding in the past. Um, so let's go ahead and get some messages from uh, the Hoodoo Tarot deck. On the bottom of the deck, we got Nine of Cups. So this is powerful. Again, wish fulfillment. I'm about to clarify. Follow your dreams. So you do have some good news coming in. You're feeling elated. You're feeling overjoyed, self-sufficient. You feel the sense of self-love, self-worth, self-value. So this is making you more attractive. Attractive. Um, we have Bob Marley and the Whalers, and this is called Natural Mystic. So you're definitely very alluring to someone. Uh, someone feels the synergy, this chemistry, um, and they can't fake it. You can, you can't fake energy. You can't fake a connection, and you damn sure can't fake a, a chemistry with someone or synergy with someone. So someone uh, that maybe was, you know, trying to lie to themselves or deny their feelings, or maybe this is your energy. Uh, switch the roles as necessary, but there's, there's no denying, and that someone sees you as wish fulfillment, and in someone feeling like you are someone that could bring emotional happiness, joy satisfaction um, this is someone you may have walked away from because there wasn't an equal exchange of love um, of emotional exchange of love and I see here with this oh uh, wow my cards seem to be upside down so let me put my cards up right see all of my cards was upside down. So this is how this person sees you. You're going through major changes. This this is the ancestors card, which is the death card. So you absolutely gone through major change, transformation, which is why you're now receiving blessings, rewards, wish fulfillment, you know, answered prayers, miracles are taking place in your life. And it's because of the changes you've made. These are changes you initiated, changes you knew you needed to make. And that's what makes you very naturally mysterious. Uh, because people can't figure out how you've been able to survive some of the things you've gone through, some of the, the betrayals, some of the heartbreak. It's made you very mesmerizing, um, very intriguing, to say the least. So someone is really, really looking at you as someone very mysterious, very beautiful, very attractive, wanting to get something off their chest, especially in terms of their feelings, uh, because they've been hiding it. Maybe they were playing hard to get. Uh, maybe there was someone who was very cocky, uh, someone who thought that 
you know, you're supposed to court them, chase them. Um, and you just didn't, you know, I feel here, this person is really, truly, um, you know, trying to manifest you. Maybe they was emotionally manipulative in the past, or maybe this could just be your energy with the magician here. Uh, cause this is uh, black Herman, which is the magician card. As I said, you're, you, you become a master manifester and you've been asking for exactly what it is you desire. Um, I can see here. Uh, on this magician card and the wish fulfillment. Like I said, something that you have manifested as above, so below, it's coming into fruition because you knew when to utilize, um, you know, that celestial energy, uh, that moon energy, those cycles, those phases. Um, and so now you're literally coming off as someone that is a natural mystic, that is a master uh, ma um, master manifester, uh, that alchemist. Um, I see here that this is the devil card and this is called, um, uh, Mrs. Uh, Ms. Robinson. So there's absolutely, um, devil energy here. Um, and it's in the reverse. A couple of my cards are in the reverse, but I don't read reversals, but because it's in the reverse, I do feel like there's a reason it's in the reverse. Someone could have reformed, you know, maybe someone was toxic and they gave up their toxic ways. That could have been the, um, you know, the changes they've made, uh, cause this 14 breaks down to five, which represents change. Um, and not just any type of change. These have been like conflicting, um, you know, changes. Uh, but I feel like someone has like done their internal work. Um, so as to recognize the changes they needed to make, maybe someone had addictions. The devil represents addictions. Um, it also represents, you know, attachments, afflictions. Uh, and so, you know, that's what you've also had to persevere from. We have, um, golden wings. So this is really, you know, really, uh, about taking flight, um, you know, away from some sort of belief systems, ideologies, someone could have literal addictions, you know, uh, drinking, you know, cause the, 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 the baskets, um, the cups energy, that nine of cups, someone could have literally just kicked some sort of, um, alcohol addiction or drug addiction or some sort of something that they were, um, dependent on. And so I see here the wheel of fortune, the wheel of fortune was there before I put it up. So yeah, there's definitely a change, major changes, turning points. Um, I am feeling like, you know, there was a real, uh, toxic, uh, cycle that you've just completed and closed out. And so now there's something beautiful coming in with golden wings. I hear golden opportunities, wish fulfillment, uh, that nine of cups is also indicating that. So there goes the nine of cups again. There it is. So this is what you have. Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment. It opened up the reading. This was the card on the bottom of the deck. And now this is the card that's clarifying. Follow your dreams. So you're following your dreams. There goes that Wheel of Fortune. This is what the um, Aunt Caroline is, the Wheel of Fortune. So I feel like a lot of y'all are going to be in the spotlight. Someone may see you as a star. Someone that radiates love, light, someone confident, someone that's like a leader, um, very powerful, someone that has taken their power back. But I also feel like there's some sort of recognition of some sort of reward. I feel like with this wheel of fortune, like there's going to be some sort of financial blessing, some sort of promotion, a pay increase, bonuses. I just saw 3255. So that's 555. So that's six. So trust your intuition when it comes to something because I feel like maybe you're picking up on the fact that something's coming in maybe you're going to be on the local news for winning the lottery winning a sweepstake ticket maybe scratch off ticket uh, with golden wings like I said golden opportunity maybe you're going to receive uh, some sort of golden ticket um, and it's like a million dollar, you know, uh, win, or maybe some of you all are going to receive like a bonus, but I see this man taking a picture of this divine feminine energy. So I do feel like there's, there's a sense that you're in the spotlight, that your picture's being taken three, 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 three. So that's three, six, nine, twelve. So this is really speaking to, um, some sort of collaborative effort, something that you do, uh, maybe something that you have been working on is going to put you in the spotlight. So say, for instance, if you have like a business, maybe, you know, your business is going to take off. Uh, things are going to flourish. Uh, business is going to be booming. Um, and it's really, you know, because golden wings, I just see you taking flight. Uh, and you're going to be in the spotlight. A lot of people are going to be having eyes on you. And this is bringing in a lot of fortune, fame, um, and blessing. So that's beautiful. So with moderation, someone also could be watching you, looking at your pictures. Uh, cause with wheel of fortune, I feel like there's a turning point in a relationship cause we're now about to clarify the message, uh, for moderation, which is the person you're attracting. So I feel like there's someone who's also, uh, watching you 
privately, um, someone that sees you as, you know, a star, someone that is now recognizing um, your changes. Maybe this is a destined connection, a destiny type co um, relationship as I was picking up like that twin flame. And they see you now in your light. They see you for who you always have been, but because they've had to make some changes uh, because you've changed and transformed and triggered them, activated them. Now they're, it's like the way they see you now is more amplified. They, they're more attractive to you. Um, or attracted to you. So we have gone, Gonna Love Me, um, and this is Ghostface, a Method Man featuring, um, and this is Tiana Taylor. So this person is now gonna come back and love you right, because now they see you uh, as you know someone that they're destined to be with. Uh, so let's see, why is moderation here? Thank you, spirit. Oh wow, Ace of Baskets flew out. So this is what this person, how they feel. They feel a, a profound sense of love, something that is now overpouring, uh, intensifying something they can no longer deny, hide, contain, uh, conceal. Uh, this is because this person in the past did not allow themselves to be vulnerable. Um, they kind of shied away from that and now they realize that's your love language so now they're going to lay it on going to lay it on thick. And this is, uh, like I said, Tiana Taylor, this is called gonna love me. So this person is going to come back. That's the change is they, they're going to love you. Right. Is what I'm hearing. They're going to love you and they're going to communicate this to you because this 14 reduces to five and five is all about, you know, communication or expression. I should say, I should say. So I do feel like they're going to, uh, perhaps express their love for you in a very creative or artistic way. They could literally make your make a song, um, confessing their love or they may write poetry or they may, con you know, um, they may, um, how do you say that? What's that, that term, uh, where, you know, someone will, um, hold on one moment. Thank you. Dedicate. They may dedicate a song to you. You know, they may, you know, um, flood your, your, your texts, you know, with songs that, remind them of you. They may send you emails or videos. They may send song lyrics like this person is really going to just, um, be, be very active in showing you that they love you. Um, I see here Bishop Mason. So this is like, you know, this is someone that really can see a future of marriage because this is the Hierophant. So this is someone that could see marriage. They could see a future. They could see that happy house, happy spouse. This is someone willing to invest. This is someone willing to invest emotionally. Um, someone that could see stability, security, planting seeds and roots and having a family with you, a happy home. Um, this is someone that could also be seeking wise counsel, going to elders. Maybe uh, if it's, this is a masculine energy, they could be going to the elder masculines in the family, maybe an uncle, um, someone that's of age that really uh, understands what it means to be a masculine, uh, what it entails. Uh, maybe they're confessing some of their, you know, their um, their mistakes in the past that they've made in the relationship and the elders could be giving them some really sound advice and they're just kind of soaking it up. But this is also just, you know, maybe there was some differences that the two of you shared, which could have caused uh, the conflict to begin with, um, which is why this person may have ran or you may have ran or maybe they ghosted you. Maybe they abandoned you, walked away from this connection, or maybe they never confessed how they truly felt. My throat just damn near blocked up. But I feel like now there's this epiphany, this, this sense of growth, maturity, spiritually so. Um, and they're going to really come in and really just express their feelings because this is something that they have not ever uh, communicated to you. And with that 14, that reduces to five. So they do know how much they love you and they're going to profess that and confess that to you. <coughs> Excuse me. And I feel like they're going to love you right this time around. So why is nature here for how this person feels towards Scorpio or we got the ancestors. So this person does see your growth with nature. They've seen your transformation. Just as I said, you have transformed right before their eyes. They feel like this connection is just very natural, very organic. Like I said, you can't fake a chemistry or synergy with someone. And they feel that with you. And that these divine downloads, you feel it with them as well. Some of you could have been born in 1974. Some of you could be 47. Some of you were born on uh, November 11th. So this is the portal that opened up because 2222 is literally like 1111. So you all realize someone may have had some sort of grand epiphany that this connection is just all too 
uh, powerful to just let go. And because of the changes that you've made, because of you standing perpendicular in your square, not backing down, speaking your truth, saying how you feel, and also not like um, stooping to their level and focusing on the love and light. I feel like that change that you've made, it triggered them to change. And so now every death is a new beginning to regenerate, to recuperate, to reinvent oneself. So you've emerged someone new and the love they have for you, they're realizing is just natural. Um, they're going to come to you very organically. I feel like there's a lot of messages telepathically between you and this person. And I feel like there's a lot of divine interventions that take place. And this person uh, could be realizing that they was acting very foolish. Maybe they was stuck between a rock and a hard place or torn between two options, stuck in two minds, stuck at a fork in the road. We have fabulous and this is called young OG. So they were acting very immature or very adolescent, um, very juvenile. Uh, you know, by not making a choice and trying to keep both options and resorting to playing games. But I feel like now there's a decision that they're making because they're looking in a particular direction and they're looking forward. Remember, we just had Gregory um, Isaac saying soon forward. So they're going to soon come toward you because they've made a decision. And it's as if he's like really ready to go towards uh, his future uh, whatever it is that he sees in his future opposed to holding on to this thing that's from the past. He's holding this with more power. This he's ready to just release it and let it go because he's looking in the direction of this um, new beginning, this new um, transformative start. And it's this is this has been a journey. Uh, there's been a whole lot of healing that was required. Uh, but this is also someone recognizing, um, you know, the love, you know, the love that can't be faked the love that they feel, you know, they, they realize again, you know, no matter what you did, whatever they did to you, rather, um, you still persevered. You was very resilient. Um, you was very sturdy. Uh, and this is something that has really uh, intrigued them, to say the least. Um, and it has made them really look at themselves overall to see just how much pain they've caused, how immature they came off, how unreliable or, you know, impulsive they may have acted in the past. Um, and how confused they may have come off as well. So now this person is really looking to come towards you, to heal this connection, to grow with you, to build with you. Why is Persevere here for what's hidden in the energy for my beloved? Thank you, Spirit. See that? Can't make this up. Two of Cups. So this person recognizes that this connection, they could give equally, you know, this is an equal exchange because they realize they love you. This person, this masculine is smiling. You know, cheesing from ear to ear because he's back with his lady. Whatever confusion. Remember, we had foggy day and this is literally what fog is. So this person was literally in a fog in terms of how they felt. And it was a lot of it was like their own doing self-deception, self-sabotaging and just having a lot of distractions or the dun -dun 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 kind of ill advising them. But this now is this, you know, this person sees you as someone that they can really grow with and build with someone that has, you know, they have a lot of love because this green is the heart chakra and this four is also the heart chakra. They're going with what they feel. They love you. And, you know, regardless with young OG, um, you know, this is called the soul tape. They feel you're a soul uh, partner. They feel this soul union. They feel that you are a kindred spirit and they uh, you make them happy. You know, you make them feel brand new. And on the bottom of the deck, we got the five of baskets. So there's a lot of regret, remorse. They're they're replaying a lot of scenarios in their mind. Uh, but they're also feeling like they've missed an opportunity because they were deceiving themselves and lying because they know with you. You know, they have to give equally like there's an equal exchange with you and with them. So with Puffy, uh, we have um, this is called. What is this called? I don't know. I just see the names uh, Puff Daddy, Future and King Los. So, you know, now they want to be your king now because they see you as their queen. So why is self-discipline here? They see you in their future also. You know, and as I said, with this puff of smoke, that was the, you know, the, the foggy day that uh, Mahalia Jackson and and um, ooh, what was his name? Oh, man, I can't remember. But those jazz artists, uh, Louis Armstrong. Thank you, spirit. So, yeah, this person definitely now sees the truth. And I feel like it was because you stood your ground. Self-discipline, like I said, self-love makes you more attractive. 
So this person now, you know, is recognizing just how deeply they love you. And it's because maybe in the past they didn't see your worth. Maybe because you were very, you know, you, 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 you overcompensated. And maybe that wasn't very attractive because they felt like they could just get what they want, talk to you however they want. You know, it was just very giving of yourself. And now you're more, you know, focused on prioritizing your needs, your wants, your desires. And that makes you more attractive is the love of self that you are, you know, exuding right now. So four, 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 four. So your angels, your ancestors guided you to, you know, focusing on the self, taking your power back. That 4444 also represents 12. That re reduces to 3. So this is the person, you know, after, the, after breaking your heart, um, you didn't, you know, just turn into some disgruntled, scorned male or female. You just said, you know what, I'm going to heal myself and I'm going to work on myself and I'm going to improve myself and I'm never going to let that happen again in life. And uh, that's what made you more uh, attractive. That's what put you in that divine feminine energy because um, the three car, uh, the three, that number three is the empress in traditional tarot. So you started to exude um, this, this power, this strength, this self-confidence uh, and made you more alluring, um, like a natural mystic. Very, It just drew this mystique around you because you were completely different from what this person or other people uh, may have remembered. And so with this daughter of coin, now someone is seeing your worth. Now someone is wanting to invest. Now someone is wanting to build an alliance or work together or work with you. And it's because of the work you've done on yourself first. Self is all encompassing. Like I said, self-discipline is all encompassing of self-love, self-worth, self-value, self-care, self-respect. And now you have self-love also. So that's beautiful. So why is um, self-discipline here? And that was the change you had to make was to prioritize your needs over that of anyone else's. Because Scorpios have a tendency, you're naturally very loving, very empathic, and very caring. The alarm is going off, so that's confirmation, or the sirens are. So you had to focus on yourself. And so what we have here is we have uh, Bishop H. Mason. So this is the Hierophant. This person now wants to invest. I feel like a lot of you all sought wise counsel. You went to your, um, you know, you may have done a lot of internal work. You d may have really uh, started to uh, go to the ancestors, um, to your altars, really work with the divine energy. Um, you may have started to just learn more about your spirituality, um, just developing those talents, um, you know, building that skill set, becoming more spiritual. Um, and just taking time out to work on yourselves, to look at things from a different perspective. And I feel like with Gula Black, this is the hangman. I feel like you also started to uh, gain a different perspective uh, as well as what you should focus on. And what you focused on was what you wanted to manifest, what you would desire to call in. So why is manifestation here? I feel someone also sees you as a powerful master manifester. And they're also looking at things from a different vantage point. And so we have the free man, the fool. This is the fool card. So, yeah, taking a new chance. Someone wants a new chance, new opportunity. This is someone that realizes they were acting like a fool. So that fool, that player from the past, they want to come back for another chance to reconcile. And this is someone that really is, um, you know, maybe they're trying to manifest you or maybe you're manifesting them. I feel like this is a divine connection because Father Sims, this is temperance. So your angels are literally like conspiring behind the scenes. This is in the incubation status. This is absolutely someone uh, that's coming in divine time. And so I feel like this person and I'm hearing everybody has to play the fool sometimes. Everybody plays a fool sometimes. No exceptions to the rules. So this is literally like how you were able to manifest because you had to realize um, your worth and value. When you go to that zero point, that's like literally starting at that ground, that, that ground zero, the self uh, going back to the root cause, I feel. Um, so this is the very beginning. Now someone wants to come back because I feel like they've changed. You know, they've made the necessary changes and they're coming through more confidently. Um, yeah, they look like they're coming in more confidently. And this is all about divine timing, you know. So let's see. Why is personal growth here for the outcome for our beloved Scorpios? And then we're going to wrap it up. And so we have daughter of knives. So this is a lot of people in your ear. You know what I'm saying? Telling you what you need to do, how you need to do it. And then finally that aha moment, like, let me shut up, shut everybody up and down and just listen to my own intuition. Because remember that light, 
shining down. So this is a lot of people pulling and tugging on someone's energy, a lot of energy, vampirism, parasitic energy, leeches. And then we have father of coins. So this is absolutely someone that has matured, someone you could have been in a relationship with, uh, the mother or father to your child. This is someone that now sees you as wish fulfillment. This person could have literally been listening to a lot of did -un -did -uns. And these people came in between this union, this connection, this relationship. And that's what caused, um, you know, the conflicts. That's what drew a wedge. But now this person realizes that they want to come back and invest because this genie bottle here, they see you as wish fulfillment. So they could be really manifesting you the same as them with John Horse. This is the divine masculine. This is the emperor. So now they've grown. They've matured. They've mastered themselves. This is a very confident, assertive, uh, powerful energy. This is also someone very financially um, stable. They want to take care of you, provide for you, protect you, be your support system, be your rock. And I feel like because you are seen as the divine feminine ladies, this divine masculine is coming in. And this is going to be a very spiritual part, uh, partnership and connection. So why a spiritual partnership here for our beloved Scorpios? And then we're going to wrap it up. So this person is making a move. They're coming towards you. And they're leaving a uh, mistress because we got flowetry, mistress. And they're coming towards you because they see you as their spiritual counterpart, your divine counterpart. They see a connection with you. They feel this chemistry, this synergy. They can't fake it. They're leaving something that was really rocky, really troublesome, really toxic, that karmic, that ex. And there was a lot of arguments and fights. This is why they came off very juvenile. Unafra you know, afraid to come towards you because they were still tangled with someone else. We did see the two of wands where they was like stuck between a fork and a, a rock and a hard place, a fork in the road and in two minds. But mistress caused them a lot of stress, aggravation. This was someone that could have used a lot of sex to entice. So that's like your incubus, succubus energy, uh, someone that tries to draw a wedge between a divine counterpart. There's no denying the person you're, uh, you, you know, from your past loves you deeply and that they feel like this could be an equal exchange of love because they do see you in that light. They are seeing you as wish fulfillment. It's double confirmed here. And I do feel like there's a beautiful outcome for you all. Uh, but there was definitely a necessity for the two of you to separate, you know, this Knight of swords, you know, this page of swords, they spy, they watch, they clock, they, scheme you know but this because they're they're attracted to you they see you as you know someone very beautiful very alluring very attractive radiant um and they know they broke your heart and they do want to rectify that and and fix that but the sun card big mama um they see you as very maternal as i said a natural healer maybe someone that has helped them to heal and grow and evolve um and right now we have andambi uh and this is called hot pearl um and this says tuning up and co-signing. So they're definitely, um, they have tuned into their higher self. And I feel like they definitely can see themselves co-signing and uh, on a house, you know, um, definitely, you know, putting a ring on your finger. Because as I said, this person is someone that wants to invest. They're very practical, resourceful. This is a, someone very abundant and successful. And they're taking action because they're coming towards the spiritual connection, this union. Because as I said, their feelings have e intensified and grew in your absence and so this person does see you as the yang to the yin yin to the yang so stay tuned for that y'all this is coming in for you you earned it this is for you thank you so much for tuning and tapping in if you found that the message resonated please be kind hit the like share subscribe button definitely hit the bell notification so you know whenever i upload if you're new i hope you stay a while if you're returning you already know what it is love is love is love until next time i send a big fat ashe